First, take out of all items from the package. There are monitor, camera, power cord, bracket, cigarette lighter, antenna, screws and T-taps. Pick up the camera. Tear off the protective film on the camera. Pick up the monitor. Mount the antenna to the monitor. Pick up the bracket. Loosen the screws. Follow my operation. Tighten the screws. Align the two holes and snap in. Align the magnetic bracket with the round hole on the back of the monitor and put it on. Place the bracket where you want and pull down the buckle. The angle can be adjusted flexibly. Pick up the camera. The white thin wire is antenna of camera. Please don't cut it, or through wires the camera will be unable to transmit the signal. Align the camera bracket hole with the license plate screw hole. Fix the camera to the license plate with screws. The camera angle can be adjusted flexibly. You can also install the camera behind of the license plate. Pick up the power cord. Use a tool to remove the outer rubber. Please note, do not cut the copper wire. Connect the power cord to the monitor. Connect the power cord with the power board to the camera. Now merge the two thin red wires. Then merge the two thin black wires. Pick up the green connector. Use a tool to loosen the screw. Insert the merged red wire into the positive, plus slot of the green connector. Insert the merged black wire into the minus, slot of the green connector. Tighten the screws. Please note, do not make the positive and negative wires touched. Plug the cigarette lighter adapter to the green connector. Plug the cigarette lighter adapter to the power. Press the red button. The monitor lights up and the image appears on the screen. There is a circuit board on the camera power cord. When the camera is powered on, there is a red dot on the power board. Now turn off the power. The light does not shine. Like my way. The testing finished. If the product you received has pictures, please do not pair. Press the up key to switch to the CAM2 channel. Press the M key to enter the menu mode. Press the M key again to switch to the pair. Press the up key to enter the pairing. The image on the screen, that means signal paired successfully. Now disconnect all the wires. The easiest way is connect the monitor to cigarette lighter outlet. The red wire is connected to the positive pole of the reverse light or tail light or license plate light. The black wire is connected to the negative pole of the reverse light or tail light or license plate light. Plug the cigarette lighter adapter to the power. Press the red button. The image appear on the screen. Step 4. The introduction of the button on the display. Look at the back of the monitor. There are five keys. A, V, up menu, down and power key. Press A, V key to switch camera video channel. Like my operation. Press the down key to turn on or off the guidelines. Like my operation. Press M key to enter the menu mode. Long press the menu key. Press the menu key to switch to the saturation. Press up or down key to adjust saturation. Press the menu key to switch to the contrast. Press up or down key to adjust contrast. Press the menu key to switch to the flip image. There are four modes normal image, mirror image, vertical normal image, vertical mirror image. Press the up and down keys to switch modes. Like my operation. Press the menu key to switch to the height and width. Press the up key to adjust the width of the guideline. Like my operation.
Let me demonstrate it again. Like my operation, press the menu key to switch to the pairing. Press AV key to switch CAM2 video channel. Power off the CAM1. Press the up key to quickly turn on or off the guidelines. Press the power key to turn the monitor on or off. Press AV key to switch camera video channel. Like my operation. Take out CAM2. Take out the power cord. Connect the power cord to the camera too. The red wire is connected to the positive wire of the power source of backup light or tail light and the black wire is connected to the negative wire of the backup light or tail light. Press the red button. The monitor lights up. Now test the camera. Press the sensor light with your finger. You can see the IR light. There is an induction light. Let me demonstrate it again. Long press the M key to enter the menu mode until pair appears. Press the up button to enter pairing. CAM2 appears on the monitor to indicate that the pairing is successful. The process of connecting the camera to the lamp line. T-taps. T-taps has two holes and one hole is closed. The long line is the line of the lamp or the circuit line on the car. Thrust the car light line into the first hole. camera power cord. Plug the power cord into the second hole. Iron sheets. Clamp the iron sheet to the tap's bottom. 